Is this better? This is slightly better. If I do... Okay, so that's... I see how this works now. This is not ideal. What if, can I change it to just auto? Is this working? This, this, this seems to be working. Well, look, look at, look at all this junk. So, it's about that time of the year where uh, I have to set the clocks back. As you can see, it's November 5th. This says 12.03. And the clock on this boombox says 1. Um, it's also off by 3 minutes, but whatever. So, it's time to set all the clocks back. And if you know me, you know I have like several, several clocks. This one's not plugged in. That one's also not plugged in. But this one I actually use as an alarm because it has like a timer function. So let's do this one first. I think you push this. Yes, clock, go. Yes, it also has the date. I don't know why it has the date. There might be some kind of programming you can do. One, set that back. Nope, oh, not 11. That one, 12. And then hit enter. And then I think it's done. And it goes back. This ring is actually really cool. And I need to do a video on it eventually. Okay, so here's the next clock. It's this Radio Shack one. I made a video on this a while ago. This was like new in the box when I got it, still sealed. And it has a weird um, time setting mechanism. The camera will focus, there it goes. Where you like turn this dial around like that. I, I, I don't know what, what the appeal of that is. You can also just like half rotate it and it works the same way. So I don't, I don't know what the deal is. But you have to change this to time set and then Hours up, so you up, and I you're supposed to like turn it, and it's supposed to go like by ones, but I'm pretty sure like you can just hold it a little bit, and it will also go by one. What time is it again? I completely forgot what time it was. Okay, I found my phone. It's 12:06 p.m. Also, oh, I was not gonna do it now. I was holding the camera a weird way and it was like blanking some of the numbers out. Okay. 1206. No, oh, oh, damn it. See, the stupid dial. It just. 1206 p.m. And then you change this back to run. And then there. That one's done. Okay, so here's the next one. This is the Sony one that's on top of this pile of junk. And it has these like really skinny numbers, which I think is kind of neat. This one I'm pretty sure is like the typical, it takes like two, two fingers to do it. I can I can barely read it because the text is gold and then it's against this wood grain background. Can you guys even read it? The camera won't focus. Very good. Okay. So, oh my god, I seriously can't see it. Time set, hour, minute. Cold down, clock. And then, there we go. And we have to go all the way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve, twelve. There. That one's done. Okay, so here's the closet clock. I think it's also just... You hold down two buttons at once. Time, and then, yeah, it's like time, and then, oh, this is hard to do, I hit it, time. There we go. Okay, that one's done. Also, look at this sign. Don't ask me where I got it. Okay, bathroom clock. This is also another Sony, and the one that's plugged into this ridiculous speaker that I mentioned in another video. This one I'm pretty sure is also kind of like standard. You just like to push the, yeah, you just push clock and time set. So, clock. There we go. It like 
double tapped a couple times, which is weird. But anyway, next clock. Okay, so there's the microwave and the oven clock, and I think most people have these, so it's not really that interesting. But, set clock. Uh, yes, set clock. Okay, that one's done. Oven, um, set, it just completely disappeared, very good. Uh-oh, what? No, come back. Oh, okay. Um, hold it down? Oh, you're joking. Oh, why would you do it this way? This is so dumb. Why can't you just have each number blink? Uh, what? The only other clock I have to do this on is like the VFD clocks and the flip clocks. Why do I have to do it on this? 12, okay, and then it's 12, 11, set clock. Okay, these are done. Okay, so here's VFD clock number one, which is facing her horrific glare from the window. Where is an angle I can use? Okay, that looks fine. This one, I don't know if you can see that. This one has like, you just hold down a button and it just does it all at once. And the buttons are also really dirty. And so it's really finicky. And I don't like doing this one. And I can't find a good angle. Sure, there, perfect. So time set fast, fast. Maybe that's slow, fast, there we go. And, and then you just kind of hold the button and wait. Oh, and sometimes it stops working. It's old and terrible. There we go. Haha. -ha. And then you want to use slow. Oh, what? What time is it now? 12? Probably 12, 12, right? Yeah. Come on. 11, 12. Okay, that one's done. Focus. Thank you. 12, 12. Perfect. Next clock. Here's a uh, general electric analog clock that is only AM, and if I zoom out, it will redo the focus so you can't see the clock, and I think you just turn the thing on the back. Don't, almost lost my Ford. Don't, don't, come on, there we go. Can I go backwards? Oh, I can. Go baby, go. Yeah. I actually really like the way this clock looks. Um, I think I found it at a Goodwill. What is it? 15? 13? 14. Perfect. Sure. Great. Next. Okay, here's VFD clock number two. It's kind of sad because the display is very dim. It's a Panasonic. But I think it also has the fast and slow. Yes. So... You get to watch me hold down this button fast. Oh, oh wait, no, this one's kind of weird. That's right. It has this huge dial for um, setting the time and everything. So instead of holding down like a time set button, you turn the selector to uh, time set, which is like great. I actually have another Panasonic clock that works kind of like this, but it has like a big switch that you move up and down instead of a dial. That one's at home. Um, but yeah, so then you do that and then you just hold the time set fast button. This one is significantly less finicky than the GE one. And then you just kind of wait and you keep waiting and you keep waiting <laughs> and you continuously wait. What is it? 12, 15 and you keep, you keep waiting. And don't go, don't go too far. There's actually a joke about these clocks in an episode of King of the Hill, which I will try to find and include in this video. I think it's kind of funny. There we go, 12.15. Peggy, I'm setting the alarm for seven. Dang it. And then you turn this selector back to off. 
like that. Ta-da, next clock. Okay, so this is the flip clock, which is a bastard because you have to like turn this knob, this, and it takes like literally ages to do. And so I will not be recording this one because it would take too long and I have to compete with like skibbity toilet. And so nobody's gonna watch the part if I record the whole thing. Okay, that's done. And now conveniently right next to it is this other GE clock. Ta-da. And it just has the normal boring hold down the button. Actually, does this one not have a button? It has, I think you just, okay, you do. There is not a clock button that you push. You just push the normal one, which is kind of weird. Right. Okay, that one's done. Oh, also this clock that is not plugged in because it makes weird noise, but it looks kind of cool. So there it is, it hangs out with the Helicrafter shortwave radio. Anyway, is that all the clocks? Oh no wait, there's one more clock. Okay, I had to turn on more lights because the camera did not like how dark it was. But this is not really a clock. It's an Olympus portable VCR. Then it's on top of this tuner unit. Like this, the VCR comes off if I push this button. Not so wrong button, this button. Like the VCR, That now there's no VCR. And so this is like the separate charging base slash tuner for the VCR. And you set the clock by flipping this down. And then I think you just do this. No, you do, um, uh, this, no, this. Oh no wait, it tells me. It's telling me how to do it. There's a little diagram. Clock, no, don't focus on that. Clock, normal program. Okay, so we want to set the clock, which is what it was on. Hour, nothing is happening. Very good. On, check, check. Why is nothing happening? Do we have to turn it on? Huh, I had to turn it on, okay. We're in business, baby. There we go, 1221, perfect. And then switch this back over to normal, turn this off, close the little door, and then reinstall, well, I'll zoom out, reinstall the VCR part. This is heavy. And you have to like, it takes significant, it might take two hands. Hold on. But you take, hold on. Show this again for the other angle. So you take this, it slots onto there. Ta da! And now your VCR is back in business. Ta da! Okay, I think those are all the clocks. I mostly just wanted to do this. Oh, also, check, check this out. Check out this cool RF modulator. Check out this uh, cool boombox. Anyway. I mostly just wanted to um, test out this new camera I got. But anyway, thanks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the clocks.